Welcome back to another cooking video. I'm Chef DeVille and today I'm going to show you guys how to change up the condiments. Now traditionally you take your sushi and you put it inside soya sauce which has a little bit of wasabi paste inside. Now this is great, it tastes awesome with the sushi and I'm not doubting that. But today I'm going to change it up. Using the same ingredients we're going to make something completely different which you've probably never seen before. So here's what I came up with. Alright so here's what I'm going to teach you how to make today. It's a soya wasabi foam. So oh, it's really dense, thick foam, which is just completely different to the normal way which have soya sauce. I mean, for example, here if you take soya sauce, it's just liquid. This is just thick and foam like whipped cream. And if you take your sushi, you place it inside. Look at that. Okay, so now that you've seen it, I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, so to make the soya sauce foam, what you're going to need is 200 milliliters of soya sauce, some wasabi, and one little sachet of Exan gum. It comes in a little box like this, filled with 10 sachets of one gram a piece, which is just enough for 200 milliliters of liquid, and it makes it into a sort of thicker consistency, like whipped cream, so you can actually whip it up into a foam, which is awesome, because you can make a foam out of anything, anything at all. Also, you need a siphon like this with a nitrous oxide pellet. And these uh, little sachets, you can get them from Molecular R. They come in a kit like this with all sorts of other little goodies like sodium alginate, calcium lactate, agar agar, and soy lecithin and some tools. And you can make all sorts of fun things like foams, gels, and spherification. And just, it's awesome. You can make amazing, amazing food with this. I mean, just look at the packet. You can see the all sort of crazy stuff you can make with it. So it's an awesome piece of kit. You can get it by clicking on the top left corner of the screen right now. All right, so to make the foam, it's really easy. You just need to combine the liquid with your little sachet and you need to blend it. The key thing is to blend it so it actually disperses the gel across the liquid properly. So just add 200 milliliters of soya sauce to your blender. Then add some wasabi, just about a teaspoon will do. And now you add your one sachet of Exan gum to the blender. Okay, and then just blend it till properly mixed. Now you'll notice the sauce or liquid will become a bit thicker by now and it will continue to get thicker and thicker during the next hour. So you put it into your siphon and then leave it in the fridge. And just close it by putting the lid on. Nice and tight. And now you just add your gas cartridge. Just tie it on nice and slowly till you feel some resistance. And then, there you go. All right, that's it. Now just put it in the fridge for one hour and it's ready to use. All right, so it's been about an hour and what you do is just take it and you shake it and then you slowly and softly spray it out. Okay, so that was how to make this amazing foam. Okay, right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then check out some of my other videos by clicking on the right right now. And if you want to see more of my videos every single week, then click on the top left corner to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to get that special cool kit from uh, Molecular R, click on the left right now and that will take you to my website where you can get more information about it and see prices and where to buy it. Alright, thank you for watching. Till next week, goodbye.